Sweet Rose of Virtue by William Dunbar, 1460-1530 Sweet Rose of Virtue and of Gentleness, Delightful Lily of Youthful Wantonness, Rich in bounty and in beauty clear, and in every virtue that is held most dear, except only that you are merciless. Into your garden today I followed you, there I saw flowers of freshest hue, both white and red, delightful to see, and wholesome herbs waving resplendently, yet everywhere no odour but bitter rue. I fear that March, with his last arctic blast, has slain my fair rose of pallid and gentle cast, whose piteous death does my heart such pain, that if I could I would compose her roots again, so comforting her bowering leaves have been. Okay, this poem is by William Dunbar. Let's see, William Dunbar was a Scotsman, um, and he was the uh, uh, the court poet to the court of King James the Fourth, um, and he probably came from East Lothian in Scotland. Um, so he was like the like the court poet. So, what's this about? Well, this is about Sweet Rose of Virtue. This is a poem to a woman, and clearly he admires, and I think he's in love with this woman. Um, but it says that she has died, or her character has died. Um, I don't... You could interpret this possibly that she has died physically, but I think her character has died. I think this was a person full of life and energy. And suddenly this person has changed. Something's happened. And they've become merciless. And there's something wrong. And th th she is no longer the sweet and beautiful person she used to be. I think life has uh, taken a piece out of her. So, sweet rose of virtue and of gentleness. So, th this is uh, uh, somebody who's expressing their love to a woman. She, th particularly from in this time, he's saying he's saying what a, a virtuous and gentle person she is. Delightful lily of youthful wantonness. So, a lily is a a, a white flower. And uh, he's saying that she is this delightful lily. She's a uh, white and she's full of youthful carelessness. She doesn't care about things. And this is a characteristic of youth. And I think she's this um, person who's full of life and uh, full of, of all sorts of wonderful things. She's very vivacious richest in bounty so she's very generous and in beauty clear she's got beautiful clear features and in every virtue that is held most dear so she has all of the perfect virtues that a young lady should ha have at that time and then suddenly the poem changes except only that you are merciless so notice this you are. The fact that he uses you are to me indicates that she's still alive and that this death is only the death of character, the death of all the, uh, 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 of her, her one, uh, her one, the wonderful persona that she used to be. But, but now she is without mercy. Into your garden today I followed you. There I saw flowers of freshest hue. So I went into your garden. This is a metaphor. Yeah, I was uh, with you today or I was watching you. 
and I followed you and there I saw flowers of freshest hue so they've got fresh beautiful colors both white and red delightful to see so they were beautiful colorful red and white flowers and wholesome herbs waving resplendently and there were herbs that healing herbs that are good for you and they're waving in the garden and they're healthy yet everywhere no odor but bitter rue so rue is a medicinal herb and it smells pretty awful so there's this beautiful garden with these beautiful colors and these wonderful herbs but there's this horrid smell so there's something wrong there's something that's not right so she looks like she appears to be this wonderful uh, vivacious person but there's something wrong yeah there's something that's not right something doesn't smell right I fear that March with his last arctic blast has slain my fair rose of pallid and gentle cast <laughs> so march the season of march this is the end of winter with his last arctic blast so a blast is a a very cold strong cold wind and he fears he thinks that march some cold wind but some bad event some horrible thing has slain has killed my fair rose of pallid of, of light skinned and gentle cast so here cast is talking about the way that she's made so this fair r rose this beautiful person the character has changed whose piteous death does my heart such pain so the death of you see I don't think it's her physical death it's her the, the death of her character the death of all that is good in her um, makes the poet feel such pain that if I could I would compose her roots again so if I were able I would bring back the old person that there was the old character full of life and vivaciousness and get rid of this evil smell of rue this this internal death the this thing that is uh that is wrong that is um that that has changed her this sudden appearance of this mercilessness and he would bring her back to life again or bring her character back because so comforting her bowering leaves have been so a bower is a safe hidden place maybe in a garden it's like an arch over your head or trees over your head yeah and let's see th this person this this lady has been so comforting and so wonderful to him that he w he dearly would like to bring her back again but unfortunately I think he believes he can't so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon bye for now sweet rose of virtue by William Dunbar